widespread weather cancellations and days-long backups to get luggage have created real chaos at airports nationwide. And Midway Airport may be feeling it worse than others with Southwest Airlines struggling to try to get back on track. WGN's Dana Rebick is live at Midway right now with the latest details. Well, we have been here since early afternoon and right now I can tell you it's the first time all day that I've been able to see the end of this customer service line. There's still probably 200 people waiting in it, but that line used to stretch all the way to the far side of the terminal. People told us it took six hours to get to the front desk. Uh, during this time, we've met several passengers today, heard about their stories, including one woman in a wheelchair waiting in this line who missed Christmas with her kids because of this mess. Everything. We missed it. So we missed it with the kids in Oklahoma. We missed it with our kids in California. So Michelle Velanoith and her husband Raul stranded in Chicago since Thursday night. They are without their luggage, which is in Oklahoma City, and have been sleeping at Midway. All the rooms are booked. We're here on the floor. All the cars are gone. So what do we do? They are among a sea of passengers standing in this customer service line for Southwest Airlines. We were supposed to fly out on Saturday. Um, they canceled our flight Saturday. Uh, they actually rebooked it four times. Uh, app crashed. We were on hold for six hours with Southwest. And then there's the mess in baggage. I've been told that flights that are canceled today, luggage can be found between carousels four and six. So far, all the luggage I've found has been final destination midway. I haven't seen anything from luggage that was going elsewhere. I was told that actually all of the ones like lined up are from days ago. They told us that basically all they could do was find out our information and that they weren't doing any deliveries. So we had to come back up here, find our bag. The saddest thing about this is that it could have been preventable. The head of the union representing Southwest Airlines flight attendants blames the company for refusing to update what she calls an outdated operation system. Yeah, it's technology and methodology of having like use a system that requires you to just call somebody or the requirement to call in today's day and age when there are so many, many other ways that you can quickly communicate with one another. Thousands of crew members stranded as well, Montgomery tells us, who have to also use a dial-in phone system to call and find out flight reassignments. Many of them, she reports, on hold for up to 17 hours. The cancellations just compiled one after another to 100, to 150, to 1,000. Um, with those cancellations and as a result, we end up with flight crews and airplanes that are out of place and not in the cities that they need to be in to continue to run our operations. So that is ultimately exactly how we ended up where we are. Southwest Airlines says it does expect a reduced level of flights this week leading into the new year to try to catch up. So if you are planning to travel uh, anytime this week, it's a good idea to check before you head to the airport. Now, the head of that flight attendants union says they plan to push for these technology updates in their current contract negotiations. Live at Midway, Dana Rebick, WGN News.